Hi, my name is Peter. I'm from Enkhuizen, the Netherlands. My YouTube channel is called Enkhuizen. You're watching Trucker Joss Vlogs. Have fun! morning. We're in Des Moines, Iowa. Let's get trucking. Just delivered our freight here. I've got to run over to Davenport now and get there for 1 p.m. I have to get reloaded today. In 200 meters, turn left on 58th Avenue. So come with me. Let's see if we can figure out how to get out of town. Just a beautiful day out here. Have arrived now remember we're in Iowa so I'll give you about half a second to guess what kind of stuff we're picking up did you guess farm equipment why would you say that gotta wait our turn though gotta be patient I'm early my appointment is for 1 p.m. and it is now 12 38 p.m. I was hoping I could get in early. I really want to go home. I have to make it home. I have to get loaded today, right? Ah, uh, they say in the notes here, oh, we're gonna try to load them by 1 p.m. If that doesn't work, they will load first thing Wednesday morning. And that's not an option for me. That's not an option for me. They have to load me today because I have to be home tomorrow night. And I don't know if I can make it in one day. It would be very difficult, very hard. I have to run hard to get home in one day and I'd be home late tomorrow. And we have our transfer on Thursday and I don't want to get like two hours of sleep before like one of the biggest days of our lives. This is like this is the culmination of the whole IVF journey and $20,000. It's, it's all happening on Thursday. So I have to be home Wednesday at a decent time so I can at least de decompress, sleep, and then be in Winnipeg 10 30 or something in the morning on Thursday or something. I don't know so whatever it's a big day I have to get loaded today if they can't load me today I'm calling into the load gods I'm like hey I got an issue they'll say what's the issue say, oh let me tell you I'm coming home I'm coming home empty I guess <laughs> we'll see what happens I'm sure they'll get me loaded that's why I'm here early anyways that's life. Life isn't always fair, and if I complain for too much, you guys always let me know in the comments, Stop complaining, Trucker Josh! And then I have like 50 comments complaining about my complaining. And then I have to make this video a few days later saying, Now I have to complain about the complainers that are complaining in my comments about my complaining. And then explain to them that complaining is part of my vlog. That's what kind of makes it funny and relatable because everybody or most people have gone through something very similar and they're just sitting there smirking and shaking their head like, yeah, I know, oh, we've all been through that. Yeah, so I shall beat you to the punch and complain before you can complain about me. Sometimes you just gotta let me vent and complain and just think to yourself, yeah, it's happened to me before, I understand relatable right that's that's the whole point of my vlog i'm not a professional videographer i'm not creating professional documentary series here for you i'm just a regular everyday guy doing a regular job driving a truck and filming it along the way i'm no different than you i don't consider myself famous or celebrity status or anything like that i'm not i'm just i'm a regular truck driver that's just trying to get by trying to take care of my family at home I'm trying to take care of my truck very excited that I got the truck that I've always wanted and uh, I'm gonna make some YouTube videos and sometimes I just need to vent and I just I know I know I complain sometimes I know you know how I know it's because I edit the videos that's all me I don't have someone who edits the videos for me uh, some youtubers make get other people to edit their content and I don't understand that I'm like it's not your content if you're not you need to put your personality into the editing right but man if I could afford it maybe I'd pay someone to edit my videos too 
That'd be kind of nice. It'd free up so much of my time. So much of my time. What would I have to pay them? Any of you want to edit my videos? What would you charge me per video? That'd be awesome. I'll just send you all the files and uh, you put it together. Make sure it's, uh, and send it back to me as a finished product. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine how much more I could get done? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. I have to, I have to get someone who understands my personality though and can relate to me so that when they edit it, it still like reflects me. But eh, I guess I'd still be the one on the camera. I'd still, they'd, they'd have to edit all my jokes. But my point that I was saying here is I know that I complain sometimes. And thank you for listening. Uh, I know because I edit it and I, I, I release the video. I, I know it's in there. I know it's in there. It's like, <laughs> I kind of chuckle sometimes. Like uh, I got to fix one of my fuel gauges, right? Uh, there's only one fuel gauge and it works. The other fuel gauge is sort of just there for show. I could hook it up to this one so that they're both matching. I gotta do that yet, right? But this one, that one just sort of points down, but that's my fuel gauge there. That's just filling a hole. So, and uh, I love it when I get the comments <laughs> and I'm not making fun of you, okay? If you're the one who left these comments, I just sort of get a chuckle out of it. When they're like, hey, Josh, Josh, have you noticed one of your fuel gauges is pointed down? It's not working. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, no way. I gotta start looking at my dash. I never noticed. <laughs> Like sitting right here in front of it for 12 hours a day. I noticed. <laughs> or there's a misspelling on my door. We're changing it. The people who did my uh, my decals inside of there, they misspelled Il de Shane on the side of my door. And I, I keep getting these messages. Josh, uh, did you know that there's a spelling error in the town name? I was the first to notice, buddy. Thanks. I was right there. I was the first one to go, uh, that ain't right. That's not right. So yeah, they're redoing it. Uh, or we're getting it redone. And smaller too. The town name doesn't need to be so honking big, you know? It, it looks smaller. I want it like two inches on the door. I'm gonna redo it myself probably. Huh. Whatever. I know, I've been yapping long enough. I wanna keep this conversation open between me and you because uh, I'm just a regular person. And sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I do complain too much. I think we all do. We all do sometimes, so. It's life. This guy cut in front of me. Now I gotta wait. Guess you can't see that way. Can you see in the mirror over there? I'll have to show you when they're done. Getting loaded. Yes! <clears throat> Yes. Oh wait, I've been told I have to act more mature. Remember? Remember? Specifically, I saw the comment that says, Josh, stop acting like a 12 year old. I saw your comment and I want everyone to know, I don't care. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta have fun. Why would you wanna grow up? Obviously you want to grow up, have responsibilities, you got to run your business. Why wouldn't you want to have fun while you're doing it though, right? Have fun while you're doing it. Live your life, have some fun. Don't be so serious all the time. Serious Gus over there. I'm acting like a 12 year old. I know I got a little excited when I put the mud flap hangers on my truck. I'm a little excited. but I had fun. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Yeah, once I get loaded here, it uh, looks like it's gonna be an easy load to tie down. <clears throat> gonna tie it down real quick and book it that way. That way, that way's home. Someone in Saskatchewan wants these. It looks like I'm pulling uh, front end loader assemblies for tractors. Uh, big green ones with a hint of yellow here and there. Yellow trim. We got loaded. <laughs> and we're on the way home. Very excited about that. I wanna get at least three hours behind me yet. And I have five hours available to me on my e-log, so. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Old Blue, you've been real good. Let's keep this up. 
putting my shoes on now, guys, if you're wondering. Oh, I gotta put my outside shoes on to go outside. Okay, let's check on the truck here real quick. Check on the load and the truck. I'll show you what I'm dealing with here and how I tied it down. Oh. Then we'll continue down the road. Okay. Stopped at a rest area to do a load check. Oh, maybe I'm parked a little far back. Well, I won't be here long. So I got these crates with some parts in there at the front. Corner protectors on everything. All the way up there. Around here. I want to make sure that my straps are protected. They get chewed up so easy. Oh, it slid back there on this one a little bit up there. That's okay though. I'm gonna go around and uh, give everything a little tighten. See, we could tighten everything up a little notch. Look at the tarps back here. This is all going into Saskatchewan. It's uh, four drops. Uh, for me, I'm just taking it to our yard, as far as I know. Maybe I'll be continuing with it, but probably not, because I'm going home for like a double weekend. We'll see. No time to waste, though. Gotta keep moving. again. I'm going up Interstate 380 and this is where the interstate ends and I think it turns into the 280 right? It shoots me back over to the uh, to the I-35. Cedar Falls. Thanks Karen. Cedar Falls. Come through here quite a bit. Well I have in the past. Reminds me a lot of Manitoba. All of Iowa reminds me a lot of southern Manitoba. So Iowa is like a giant southern Manitoba. Or maybe southern Manitoba is like a, a mini Iowa. Maybe that's the way it goes. I always feel at home in Iowa. It feels so much like where I come from. Great to get the get the sun out of my eyes here. Looks like I'm gonna be turning directly into it also. Cedar that. They really like cedars in Iowa. Ah, and they really like bright sunshine too. Yikes. Woo! Highlighting all of the beautiful Iowa bugs on my windshield. It's still nothing compared to what I'd have after 10 minutes of driving across Saskatchewan.
right, come on now. That is, there we go. Oh, why didn't I think of that sooner? Okay, I've got 1,089 kilometers to get home, so I could get home in one day from here. But I still have another three hours available to me to drive, so I want to keep going. Make tomorrow as easy of a day as possible so that I still have energy when I get home. So I can decompress when I get home and relax without having to fall asleep right away. Hey everybody. Old Blue and I have pulled over for the night already and uh, I forgot to film an end of day for this video. And I'm already in my, uh, my sleeping attire. So I can't show myself right now, I don't want to scare you away. I want you to come back tomorrow. Please do, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button if you did like the video. It helps me a lot. If you want to help me uh, for free, you can leave a comment down below in the description of my videos here or down below in the comment section there if you want to know more about me you can learn more about me in the description of all my videos just go down below and check it out I've been making videos for a long time and I'd love to have you join our TJV crew here I'll see you again tomorrow take care everyone